on land. They also help propel them through the water, which you'll see in a second. And April just has her front flippers examined as well. If you look closely, you'll see a bony, almost wing-like structure in those front flippers. And those will give them the classification, which is pinnacle, which is translated to mean to the part. And there's April Whoa. looking at <laughs> You can see how quickly Charlie just goes in the water and jumps back out. She's got a very flexible neck and an aquilinear body that helps her move quickly, and that's very handy when it comes to escaping predators such as orcas, and also for catching fish which they hunt and, and eat. Several of those fish are what they eat here in this description. Those include capelin, herring, and mackerel. Wow! <laughs> fish they get here are fortifiable vitamins and minerals to make up for not being in the wild. In the wild they might also eat squid and aquifer. Listen to April's gravelly voice. Each sea lion has a very distinct voice. They're as unique as human fingerprints. In the wild the moms or cows use it to communicate with their babies, which are called pups. And the males are just all bulls. So keep your eye on April at the south part of the pool. She's going to keep that fish in her mouth until the keeper gives her to go ahead. There she goes. She knows that if she does a desired task, she'll be rewarded with more fish. As I was saying about the boys, the males use it to defend territory and buy for me. They have a much lower gravity voice. Charlie's voice when you hear it will be a little bit higher, um, but as she gets older, it's too low. Well, get low. You'll notice when.